Good morning, we are back at Eureka Walmart. This is recorded on Monday, April 4th, 2022. So when we first go in, we go to the vegetable and fruit section. This is the fruit juices and salads. Everything is pretty well stocked, much better than last week. Um, I am just looking at the different salads, mixes, because we're, we like fresh spinach for our salad. This is the organic section, so it's a little bit more expensive than if you just go down a little bit further to the right. Um, the one thing I did notice is they had no cauliflower. They had two, um, I'm looking for cauliflower right now because I want to pickle some more vegetables. And I did find two heads of cauliflower and I got the last two. And same price as last week, $2.98 but they were actually a little bit bigger than what I got last week. And there's the other one. Um, so yeah, I didn't film too much of the fruits and veggies veggies, because it was looking pretty good. So now we go down to the meat section. Oh wait, I looked at the onions. Um, red onions are low. I don't know if that's a um, a shortage issue but it's kind of hard to find red onions anywhere right now oh and this is watermelon so this is seasonal we don't always have watermelon so this is the first time I've seen watermelon this year I don't know what it was last year I kind of felt like seven dollars and 68 cents for one watermelon is pretty high let me know if you guys buy watermelon and you think that is high I'm just not for sure it just seems high to me um, these are bags of fish tilapia I haven't bought tilapia in a long time and, it, and I'm pretty sure I never paid $20 for a bag of tilapia so that seems kind of high and I'm just showing the beef so there is a couple empty spots but overall I feel like it's pretty stocked again I can't tell you about if the prices have went up or not on beef because I buy my beef from a local farm and we're pretty well stocked up um, and this is the bratwurst again there's a lot of empty spa spots in the bratwurst so um, they just have not been keeping that fully stocked whatsoever and I don't know if people are just keep buying it up or they're just not getting any in this is the pork section turkey sections looking fine and now this, this is the chicken this is as stocked as I've seen the chicken in a long time so definitely lots of chicken that won't last forever because I'm in Missouri and Missouri uh, did have a huge bird flu outbreak and so a lot of chicken um, was disposed of There's lots of chickens and so when you have something like that it's like the butterfly effect you won't see it right away but you will see a short of a shortage of chicken soon so this is pizza now on the end right here um, it's normally I don't I think it's normally bags of chicken or seasonal food so it's not normally pizza that is an odd spot to put pizza this is chicken um, I'm looking for the corned beef again to see if they're having it on sale and nope they're not having it on sale this is ham and with it being April you're definitely gonna see a lot more ham here's what's left of the corned beef still I don't know 50 cents less a pound I don't consider that a clearance I guess with meat they're not gonna clearance it out because um, people are buying it it's less than what it was last week but there's still some left um, hot dog this is still I just these coolers just aren't always used to not have like hot dogs that's not really hot dog space they're just filling up empty spaces so a price increase uh, my sister mentioned to me she buys the generic lunchables um, and they're normally like 99 cents and they're now I don't know if I get close enough a dollar ten and um, she just mentioned that to me I personally don't buy lunchables the generic is what she buys um, but she's got two teenagers so she buys lunchable so that did go up 10 11 cents cheese is looking fine um, I've had a lot of people comment about how you know either the shelves look great or it's not that good because of front facing I am aware of front facing I understand what front facing is and that's where uh, you know the shelf is not completely stocked they just pull it to the front and so you don't see the empty spaces in the back and yes I definitely think that is a, a big problem but I don't always take the time to look to see if it's front-facing or not I, I should 
Um, these are eggs, the not fully stocked, that it's not looking good. Butter, here is another price increase that's actually increased a lot. So not, not a lot in like price, but a lot overall. So when I bought butter, this same butter last year, it was $2.98. When I bought it last month, it was $3.08. Now it's $3.18. So that means they raised the price twice in 2022 so far. And that's kind of an alarming thing to raise it twice in one year and it's only April. So it'll be interesting to see what foods they just keep rising over and over. So I didn't record in the soda because of that lady right there. I don't want to record kids, but uh, the soda was half stocked. Paper right there, the paper was not looking good. There was a bunch of empty spots in the paper. Toilet paper is looking low. I just mentioned this because in the past, this whole paper and toilet paper aisle was extremely well stocked, overflowing stocked. So seeing only half stocked could be a little concerning, could be a sign of a trend. And let's see, where do we go next? Um, baby food. The baby food, it looks completely different. It took us a couple minutes. They've rearranged something, but in my mind, I'm not for sure. Something has been moved. It took us a couple minutes to find the chicken. They did actually have chicken, so we did end up buying six jars. Again, this is an example of something that has increased numerous times. So when I bought baby food, Gerber baby food last year, it was 98 cents a jar. Two months ago, or one month ago, it was $1.17 a jar. It is now $1.24. So again, that's something that's, I noticed there was another box back there. That's something that's raised uh, a, a price increase, a price increase three times in less than a year. To me, that is a very concerning trend. All right, now we're walking um, down the normal aisles. This is just like generic hostess cakes that look completely empty cookies. Um, I don't normally buy any cookies. What am I looking for? Uh, oh, this is where the cheese crackers are. That is looking pretty empty. Saltines and saltines. It's kind of rare to find saltines. And I'm like, why is there saltines there? Those are saltless saltines, which is kind of weird sounding, isn't it? Saltless saltines does not sound like fun. So you can see why they're still there. Who wants to buy saltless saltines? I like saying that, salt those saltines. <laughs> anyway, um, next aisle, the pudding and fruits um, section. Peanut butter looks picked over. Still lots of peanut butter, but it does look picked over. Jelly is picked over. And bread, bread is usually well stocked. Um, there was several empty spots this time. Um, and I do grab my bread. I normally, I also go to a local grocery store where we do most of our grocery shopping. It's called Deerberg's and I've done videos on that before. That is where we do the majority of our grocery shopping. But um, just due to, you know, the raising costs, I've been shopping at Walmart a lot more. And it is 50 cents cheaper to buy the bread here than it is at my local grocery store. At my local grocery store, some things are very comparable to Walmart and then sometimes are more expensive. I just have to pay more attention. Um, now I'm at the cake aisle. Um, my niece's birthdays are coming up and I do bake them birthday cakes. And so I'm going to grab a couple boxes of cake mix. I use cake mix, but then I make my own icing and the homemade icing is just what makes the cake so much better. I don't have confirmation of like what I paid last year. Um, today I paid like a dollar seventeen a box. I kind of felt like I paid less than a dollar, so I definitely feel like instant cake mixes is another thing where the prices went up. Now we're this is uh, canned veggies. There's actually green beans and corn. In the past, it's been a little low, but it's looking fine today. Um, vinegar's looking a little low, um, but uh, you know people are canning right now, going through their freezer, canning up all their freezer goods so they can. Uh, make space for the upcoming growing season. Uh, ramen noodles is looking half full. Soups. Soups is definitely picked over. Lots of, you know, empty spots for sure. It definitely just needs to be stocked. And then, you know, chicken stock or the soup stocks, that's looking pretty low and it has looked low for a while. 
And then this is just a random end cap. Throw chicken and mayo together, I guess, so everyone can make their own chicken salad. Uh, let's see. This is where the pizza is, and they have the pizza Chef Boyardee kits. They have it three weeks in a row. I did end up buying two more boxes. I can't help it. Um, and here's the pasta, and it is definitely looking extremely empty. Extremely, extremely empty. So basically, so far, the two main shortages here is cauliflower and pasta. <laughs> um, we're looking, I end up buying SpaghettiOs. They're $1.17 a can. Again, I couldn't find my receipt from last year, but I'm pretty sure I used to pay less than a dollar a can of SpaghettiOs. I don't use SpaghettiOs a lot, but sometimes just need a quick lunch. I work from home, and so I do actually like SpaghettiOs. When you buy the four pack, you're paying less than a dollar a can, um, but my husband likes it with uh, meatballs, and so we bought the meatball ones, and that was $1.17 a can. Um, so again, I can't confirm that the prices went up, but I'm pretty darn sure the prices went up because it's over a dollar now. And then the mac and cheese, um, always empty spots in the mac and cheese. And I was looking at the Dinty Moore. I actually like Dinty Moore soup, quick and easy meal. We buy the big cans, 50 cents more at my local grocery store. So Walmart is cheaper right here. I didn't buy any. I have a couple at home. Parmesan cheese. They're look. It's two, um, there's a couple craft and then it's flat of generic, but the rest is empty. So um, Parmesan cheese has definitely got a little shortage going on. Let's see, what is next? Um, pickles, pickles is fine. Barbecue sauce, it's a big barbecue section and it's all the same brand. I think they had way too much baby back, I don't know what the name brand was but it's the same over and over. And then here is the chicken, canned chicken, canned beef. It's looking picked over. I just look to see, my husband likes red salmon, not pink salmon, and Walmart um, usually just carries pink salmon. Uh, sometimes they'll have red, but it's pretty rare. Here is the canned pineapple. There is some mandarin oranges. Holly said her Walmart had no mandarin oranges. I don't buy canned fruit a lot, um, but one of my favorite YouTubers mentioned that she noticed a dramatic increase in canned fruit. Uh, so that's a bummer for people who buy canned fruit. Just another another place where the prices went up. So that's it. Um, the frozen fruit, I did go down the frozen section. I grabbed a couple bags of frozen peas for a recipe I'm going to try. But overall, the frozen food looked fine. And then I am going to head over to the canned canning section just to double check how that looks. Uh, I am a big canner. I like to can, I like pickling, you know, I like to make pickles and canned jalapenos and canned veggies and stuff like that. So um, even though I have a pretty good stock of, of glass jars and stuff, I like to look just to, um, to see how it, lo how it looks in case I need more. And um, so it's definitely, they got pots again. Remember last week they did not, the week before they did. And so they are restocking it. So, and then they have more flats. And then, and then someone left a note, jars are sold with plastic left on the cases. So I found that interesting. I was thinking that I did notice last week that the plastic was removed and it shouldn't be. If you watched my video last week, I mentioned that. So someone else noticed that and left a, a little note. I found that very amusing because if I would have had paper on my, on myself, I would have left that same note. Um, I, I would not buy that flat with the plastic removed. So, um, I guess the lady thought like me and then it was an employee who did that. So, yep, that's our weekly Walmart trip. Um, and we will see you next week. Thanks for watching.